Create two buttons, host and join. Next make a new line edit and call it IP. Finally make a label node and call it player IP. Let's start coding, we will create a new function called, check for IP. First we will loop through all the IP addresses the computer contains, then if it starts with, 192.168 we will set player IP to the IP, and then stop the for loop. Now create another function called create client, in the function we will create a new variable peer. We are going to use go.sin built multiplayer API. On a new line write, peer.create client, in the brackets write, dollar IP dot text comma then 31400. And lastly write, get tree dot network peer equals peer. Next hook up the join pressed signal and write create client. When the function it will try to connect to the host IP address. Before we continue we have to decide whether we want a peer-to-peer -peer connection or a server-to-peer connection. The difference is that server-to-peer will have a dedicated server which players will be clients whereas peer-to-peer, -peer, one player will be the server and everyone else will be clients, this method is more demanding on the computer because there are more processes happening, but for a small game peer-to-peer -peer is what we are going to be using. Next create a new function, create server. This function is almost identical to create client but change peer.create client to create server and the first argument is 31400 which is the port and the second argument is the player limit. Connect the host button to that function. To test if it's working in the ready function type, get tree.connect, then connected to server, self, server connected. Then create a new function, server connected and type, print connected, launch two game windows with one as the host and the other as the client with the IP as. 127.0.0.1. In the create server and server connected function, we want to change the scene to game world. In the world script we want to spawn the player to do that copy the code in the red box. Next we need to spawn the other player so copy this code. After write, get tree.connect network underscore peer underscore connected, self, new player, then create a new underscore function. New underscore player with it as an argument, and copy this code. This will spawn a new player if someone connects and the unique it is going to be one if you are the server. Let's try it. Oh, the new player can't see the other player, that's because the position is not getting updated. To do this in the player code, copy this code. RPC stands for Remote Procedure Call which sends info to other people using network packets. In the setPOS function we use remote to get around security protocols. Let's try it again. We can move both players in on Windows so to fix this right. If is network master on top of any user input. And that wraps it up for my basic networking tutorial.